Okay, so this is good. Oh, here we are. A welcome place and we sell animals. So welcome again family. This is Wayne from Pisces. You this know Josh. Josh. And I am on this video with sort of a heavy heart but sort of happy as well. This is my last week at Pisces. And I'm heading off tomorrow. I'm going to be leaving Pisces. Well, you know, never in heart. But my heart remains here. And so I'm handing over the tanks to Josh. Josh is going to be managing all the marine tanks. So just going through, showing him a few things about the tanks and doing something which I hold a little bit dear to me. This is sort of a, a tradition in Pisces. So I'm going to hand over the refractometer awesome. to Josh. And then the next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to be taking my picture off of the tank. So the pictures come down. Goodbye, Winnie. And then soon you'll have another picture of the tank. Josh is been trained, yeah. he's been working very closely with me as you can yeah. see. So expect a lot of great things. So we're gonna walk through the tanks. Basically I've just shown Josh how the lights work. Walking through the Felix system which is right here, which is the controller for the tanks, the wave makers. And then I'm gonna go through, pull up my pictures of all of the tanks. And then I'm gonna ask him a trick question to see if he passes the exam. <laughs> all right, let's go take a look on the exam that I have for Josh. Awesome. Good on the That's two. This one didn't have another scrap that one out. <laughs> three. That's three. And the big boy. Dragon's oh. tear comes down. All right. As a gesture, we have one more around the back, but let's just talk a little bit here because this is Josh's training and a part of his one exam. So this is a one exam final. Yeah. I'm going to do something to the tank. Okay. And within the first 30 seconds, I want you to figure out what I did to the tank. It's going to be very visual, very easy. Check. So cover your eyes, yeah, yeah, turn yeah. around, yeah. and I'm going to do something really quick that you should spot. Josh got it. Yeah. That's why I trusted him with the tank. So what I did was shut the wave maker off. That's part of the routine that we use when we are doing our water changes. I always shut the wave maker off. Because you see the height here, if the water drops, you're gonna hear a loud screeching sound. Looking and constantly watching the tank is important because sometimes you plug things out and forget. Exactly. So that's why I asked him, visually get used to your tank. Things that you see should trigger something. So he looked, he knew what to look for. He looked up, he saw that the current pattern had instantly changed and he knew it was the wave maker. Kudos, bro. Awesome, All right, so we're gonna head over. I'm gonna take my picture off of one more tank and hand over that tank to him as well. Okay, and the last one. Josh, yeah. this for you. Awesome. And the maintenance of this tank, this is the last one we rebuilt. This is with myself, Ian behind the cameras. He did a great job in building the tank over. We started with the stand. So this stand frame is now removable. So we can easily access all the filtration systems down here. Awesome. Now, it's very basic what we're running down here. This is basically just, literally what we'll call a, just using filter flux. Okay. So filter flux is what's just, on every two days, you change that out, keep yep. that clean. Yep. This tank should be easy to maintain. We don't siphon the base of this tank. Yep. We'll just do the water changes on this one. Awesome. And he's been walked through, so he's gonna be doing the water changes on this tank and the other one today. Yep. So he got the baptism of fire yesterday <laughs> yep. with the reef tanks, and we'll see how he does today with these. But have good confidence in it. Awesome. All right, bro. Excellent. Awesome.